Okay, so you're going to need some materials before you start your scratch build. One of the first things to find is your foam. This is six millimeter foam and it's very, very light. You can sort of see how, how light it is, very, very light. One of the best brands to use is uh, the Depron brand, which is made in Germany, but there are alternatives out there. The alternatives tend to be a little softer, a little bit easier to break, but it's, it's perfect for a trainer. This stuff here is from BMQ in the UK. It's really inexpensive, perfect for building a, uh, a trainer plane from. You know, at some point you will crash, we all crash, and uh, it hurts less when it's, when it's made inexpensively. So you'll need to get some of this. You can get similar things um, from uh, other DIY stores. You can Google XPS, which stands for extruded polystyrene. If you Google XPS foam, sheet or underfloor uh, insulation uh, there you'll probably find lots of places you can get uh, materials from which are perfectly adequate for building the plane from. Uh, light ply this isn't ordinary this isn't ordinary plywood it's made so it's very very lightweight so generally you get this from a modeler's shop so I recommend you get uh, some of this um, and uh, it's useful for a variety of things where you need the strength of plywood but you don't want to make your plane too heavy. And of course the other thing which I tend to use a lot of is my 3D printer. 3D printers are not essential for this, for building this plane, but it will make your life a lot easier if you have one or if you can have access to it. You'll notice that the parts for the Cadet are on the Jetworks website to download for free. Another thing you're going to need to use is some glue. And as I mentioned briefly at the, on the safety briefing, you're gonna need some uh, super glue, a little bit of super glue. Uh, I recommend super glue gel. It's a little bit thicker and it's a bit more controllable. Uh, you're gonna need some epoxy. Uh, I tend to use five minute epoxy. Uh, you can get 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, two hours. And, and that's just about the, the amount of time it takes to set. Uh, I'm, I'm quite an impatient builder, so I work on five minutes. I just put a little bit on, mix it up, stick it on the on the uh, on the plane, and then five minutes later, I'm ready to move on to the next stage of my build. So, um, epoxy you can get is from most DIY stores, or you can mail order it. Um, and one of the the key key glues is the Yuhu Pour, um, and this is a, a favourite of mine. It, um, it dries, it's a contact adhesive um, and um, it dries like a piece of like rubber so when if you do prang your plane it tends to stretch and move move around or rather it's not very it's not brittle and doesn't sort of snap as it were it, it's it's quite a durable glue um, and uh, it's a contact adhesive which basically means that you have to you, you apply some on one piece and you stick the next piece to it like this rub it around a bit you take it, take them off, and then uh, you have to wait about 20 minutes for for the solvent to evaporate. And what, when you feel it, uh, it feels almost like there's no glue on there. But when you put the two pieces together, they grip. And there's no repositioning. You have to make sure that they're perfectly aligned, and they because they they really grip. The the other thing you're going to need is a hot melt glue gun. Uh, very important. Uh, glue sticks as well. Another thing that you'll need to probably mail order in, uh, unless you can get it from a local hobby shop, is, is your carbon fibre. Um, either uh, a square section tube or a circular section tube. Um, and these are pull, they call them pultruded carbon fibre rods or, or tubes, so let's say. Um, they, they come in different lengths, but typically Either, either a meter long or 750 millimeters uh, are uh, common sizes and you're going to need some of these uh, or one one piece for the cadet to strengthen the wing and also the horizontal stabilizer so I recommend uh, you look out for those before you start because uh, within a few days of your build you might need to, um, to glue these in. 